hello everyone in this video i want to talk about uh, having your own web website and the importance of uh, having your own website and i want to talk about uh, one specific area and that is your career and your uh, your professional life now one thing that that has helped me from the beginning of my career and uh, not just uh, my uh, my 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 job but my freelancing career and i also was running my own company for 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 few years and uh, i actually wanted to talk about uh, thing that really helped me in getting a lot of uh, clients and in uh, getting uh, some recognition in my domain for example there are main two things mainly two things that i do that i am known for number one is of course the jira and number two is the drupal now i never really paid anyone for uh, marketing i never really did any google ad i think i did maybe one ad once for uh, a client but uh, i never really used uh, google adwords or any other uh, advertisement for uh, promoting myself or for promoting my company all the traffic all the leads that i received was from search people search for things like uh, drupal developer in india or jira developer or jira consultant or atlassian consultant in delhi and one thing that i have done for a long time and i have been doing it is uh, writing blog post and number one you should have a website you can of course build your website using a simple html or use a cms i use of course drupal because that is something that i know really well and uh, if you look at the website and i'm just talking about uh, i'm not really just talking about my own personal blog but i but i but i also of course you know used to build websites so my company's own website and couple of other blogs so when you have a uh, a blog or websites and when you have content on those sites people search for uh, similar keywords and those those keywords will uh, probably uh, make sure that uh, your site is reached for example if i'm uh, if i'm writing a blog post and i and i want to ensure that that particular uh, blog goes out and it is and it's probably indexed by google or any other search engine to be honest then i make sure i include those keywords somewhere in the blog post somewhere in the title or somewhere in the content and i of course have a meta tags enabled it is of course very simple to do when you're using a drupal based drupal based website so the idea here is that when you have a site with content and when you have done some configurations it, it need not to be like very complex configurations but uh, if you have let us say submitted your site to google or maybe maybe other famous search engines like bing for example then uh, and by the way people are mostly using google or uh, bing there is no i mean i mean of course we guys use duckduckgo or i recently started using a brave search engine because i want to of course try new things and uh, and that is of course just me or people like me but for majority of people for majority of normal people they use uh, famous search engines and uh, if you have let us say something to sell or something to promote or maybe uh, you are maybe a consultant or maybe you're running your own company or maybe you're a freelancer or a contractor based on your location i mean in uk uh, people use the word contractor in india it is of course known as freelancer and i guess i guess also in U in the us uh but the idea the, the idea here is that if you have something to offer maybe a service or a product having a simple blog and by the way i'm talking about uh, you as an individual if you are a company and you have a marketing team then great continue doing that but if you are just an individual uh don't forget the importance uh don't underestimate the power of uh, having your own website it could be as i mentioned before a simple html site and i think that is also enough and having just a website is uh, a great start of course you have options to work on the website but if 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 you are maybe 
not massively familiar with web development uh learn simple html or maybe use uh, those templates like bootstrap for example set up a site i talked about recently grab you can also use simple html but the idea here is that if i mean i'm talking about career and I'm, i'm talking about uh, some services that you may want to sell maybe you want to promote yourself online so start with a website make sure you have uh, things like uh, you know about page or contact page where people can know what uh you have to offer and how to reach out to you make sure if you are maybe i mean if i mean if if you are a professional i think uh, you need to have your own resume um i'm not very good with resume but if i look if i show you my resume i have i believe uh, 30000 hits just on the resume and there are some of my blog posts where i have like you know 50000 even more uh hits so it means that people are looking for solutions and when they reach your site they might also click on your about page or resume for example if you are doing something with let us say maybe maybe you are a python developer for example and you are writing a blog about it uh, or maybe you are a web developer and you want to uh, offer your uh, services and you want people to contact you because you know you need to earn money i mean we all need to earn money and uh, having a blog with that content that is of course matching what you do will help you and i think it is the most simplest thing that you can do uh, don't you don't need to like pay anyone of course when you are using your own blog make sure you also syndicate your post for example if i open one of my post l- let us say i have uh, this video which i posted today now each and every post of mine has uh, this uh, link of twitter so when you go to twitter you'll find that uh, this particular uh, video or this post or it could be any blog is actually uh, also syndicated on twitter i i can also do it on linkedin if i need to uh, i can also do it on other platforms like facebook or reddit but uh, for the time being i mostly focus on twi- twitter because the twitter is still not that bad uh, a- a- as a platform but uh, the idea here is that keep everything on your own website make sure uh, whatever blog post you're writing you write it on your site first and then of course share the link elsewhere uh, so this is something that i i learned i mean i i have been doing it but uh, i started using indie web uh, indie web uh, principles i mean I, you can do a quick google search or a brave search or uh, duck duck go search so if you go to indieweb.org you can learn about these things but if you are a professional my point in this video is that if if you are a professional you could be a student you could be already working you need to have uh, your own blog and uh, believe me people look at the blog post P- people let us say if i'm looking for a service or maybe i'm trying to reach out to someone maybe i need some help technical help and that is not really my domain and when i when i find someone i may want to of course know a bit more about that person so they can of course uh, have their own resume and I'll click on the resume I'll probably go through the details I'll probably try to understand what this guy is all about and most of the times you will get an idea about uh, what this person is capable of what this person can do for you whether this person is the right person for what what problem you're try- trying to solve what maybe maybe I want to pay someone to get my job done or maybe I want to recommend someone so uh having a blog post will help you massively companies also look for uh, these blogs because they want to know more about you having a linkedin profile is fine but uh, i mean i'm not really a big fan of linkedin it is i think a bit creepy nowadays i mean uh, i mean the notifications that i get that someone is looking at your profile and linkedin keeps on uh, suggesting that you should add this person i mean i, I don't really think uh, we should on linkedin we should add people unless and uh, unless we have worked with them i mean now uh, 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 i think linkedin now is like facebook i mean w- w- what is the difference and people are posting a uh, lot of things on linkedin and uh, if you accidentally like something or if, even if you ha- let, let us say if you're following 10 people and if those 10 people like something that like will appear in your feed so it is exactly like uh, facebook so i don't really think uh, linkedin is the right platform i mean it is fine to have like a profile there 
just for the sake of it because everyone is there but uh, having your own website where you can control your own data where you can control your resume the way you want to build it and it, it need not to be a complicated website but if you are a if you are a student or a professional uh, buy a domain and then set up a site a simple site uh, i think uh, th there are a lot of uh, easy ways to build site these days but uh, it is very important to uh, to do it yourself because that is why you will learn and uh, and i also recommend uh, looking at uh, some cms like wordpress because you know wordpress is extremely simple and when you're using wordpress you can actually get started very quickly but the thing with wordpress is that not everyone can easily deploy it i mean of course you know you i mean it is not complicated for me but uh, someone who has absolutely no technical background for them actually it is much easier to uh, set up a simple html site uh, it can be a simple text based site i mean that is a good thing about uh, simple web websites simple html based websites where even if you write something like it could be a simple text format uh, it will work it will work on the on the browser so you need you don't you need not worry about uh, the complexities of you know making a site a complex website and and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye